What's going on guys? Happy Saturday. So uh, just wanted to do an update on the babies and today I weaned four of them. Uh, they've been eating for a few days now on their own in the nest box and the last couple of days they've been leaving their nest boxes. So today they got weaned. So I'll be home tomorrow and Sunday or today and Sunday. So I'll be able to watch them, make sure they're drinking and still eating on their own. But uh, I don't think there'll be any issues. So we got this dark check right here, who's flying pretty good already. Um, I think it's a, I think it's going to be a cock, but uh, he's been up on the, the perch. He's been up in the nest boxes or the the box perches, and kind of getting around the, the loft pretty well. So um, looking really good. Really excited about them. This is a Dykstra Mussolini, 75% Mussolini, 25% Dykstra. Uh, should be a pretty good bird, I hope. Uh, here's the other four that I weaned. Um, the one on the right, the blue bar, with the little white on the end of uh, the flight feather and the white ticks by its eyes. That is also uh, Dykstra Mussolini. It's the nestmate to the dark check. 75% um, Mussolini, 25% Dykstra. Uh, the silver and that other darker blue bar are Deverant Jansons. Um, the father is a silver and the mother is a blue bar, and we got silvers, a silver and a blue bar. So his and her birds. Um, I also have a tail owl that I weaned in here, um, but that's not really that important. I have a couple of tail owls in here actually. Uh, there's three, I don't know, four. Four tail owls in here that I'm gonna uh, trap train to this side for uh, the young bird team to use as droppers. There's uh, the other two right here. This one is actually has just been weaned uh, a few days ago. So keeping an eye on that one as well to make sure uh, feeding and drinking. And they're already using the box perches, so cool. All right, let's check out some of the other birds, the other babies. Oh, before I, uh, I almost forgot to add this, but um, so I decided I'm gonna just use one entrance and exit on this side for the young birds. And it's gonna be here. So what I did is, is I got a wooden dowel at Lowe's and I drilled through this two by four and then I drilled in there. And this just slides in and out and it'll hold up the, the trap door. So when they're not, when I don't need them to use it, they can go in and out to the aviary this way. And then when I need them to trap in and stay in, I can remove the dowel and drop down the trap. So I wanted to show you guys that. And uh, I got a new feeder, new to me feeder. Um, I really don't like the ones they can walk on top of and poop in. So now all my sections have the dowel style feeder with the, the wooden top so they can't poop in them, just like on, on that side. And then it, it takes up less space, actually, if you think about it, because, yeah, it's up off the ground a little bit, but they can walk around on the top. So it's, it's like they still have the same amount of floor space, same amount of surface area to, to get around in. But all right, let's go check out some other babies. So on this side, I have, uh, well, here's some egg updates, too. This is the the Jansen hen who's paired up with the Deverant cock. They just laid uh, round two. So excited about that. Uh, there's my... Dykstra Mussolini hen. She is the mother of the two birds on the other side. She's on her second set as well. And then that's it for them. And then up here is Rocky's babies. We got a blue bar and a black one. Uh, his and her birds. The dad is black. The mom is a blue bar. And they should be really nice. Let me get the bowl back up and then, you know what? I'm gonna close the video for a second and get them back in their spot with two hands. So up here are my Ross Vaccaro Jansons. Um, interesting colors. This is gonna be a really light red check with white flights. And this one is going to be, I think a, a silver with like a darker silver with like really faint red, red stripes. But we'll see. Uh, We'll see how they look when um, they're a little more feathered out and then after the molt, if I still have them by then. But uh, really pretty birds. They, they kind of take after the cock. Um, where is he? Let me see. He is right there. 
that guy right there. So they're kind of taken after that. Uh, the mother is the blue bar here with white flights, and she just laid uh, her second round. So I have to candle these in uh, uh, two or three more days. She laid the uh, the second egg yesterday. Um, up here, so this is a new pair because my red Stefan Reet just cannot fertilize an egg to save his life. Um, I wasn't sure what was going on. I had them lay... They laid three rounds of eggs and every round was unfertilized. Um, so I got that bird from Silvio. I, I spoke to him about it and he said that he actually had some trouble last year with that cock. Uh, he's just too slow to mount the hen. He's just, he's young too. He's three or four years old, so he's not old, but he's just slow at, you know, I, I watched the hen squat and then he's just like not paying attention. And then she'd stand up and game over. So... I took him out two days ago. Uh, enough time has been wasted. I got birds starting to go down on, on their second round of eggs, and I haven't even gotten a first round out of that hen. So uh, I took him out. I moved him to the other loft. He's just uh, existing in there right now. And uh, I'll try again with him next year. I'm not uh, not going to make a decision this year on him. Uh, we'll see how he does uh, next year. Maybe next year I'll, I'll get... Um, my plan is to make bigger nesting boxes. This was... Uh, these shelves were for this year because I ran out of uh, calendar time uh, building this new section, expanding this and getting it ready. So these are not as wide as I would like them to be or deep. So maybe next year if I get uh, deeper nest boxes, um, I'll lock him in there with a hen and it can he can be in there with her a little more permanently and see if that helps. But uh, he'll get one more shot next year, but he's done this year. I don't, I don't have any more time to waste. So uh, she, this is a Simon Wolf Cornelius. She flew the, the Hoosier Classic. And in the 220, she came in 46th place. So, and she finished the series, so she did pretty well. Um, this is a Mussolini Blue Bar. He is a 2023 uh, Smoky Blue Bar. He is from my friend John at Minua's Family Loft. I was given two late hatches from him and told to stock one and fly one because they're the offspring of one of his champion birds. And uh, I stocked this one and ended up being a cock. I flew the other one who ended up being a hen. And she took second place for me in the club in the 200 and flew like a ridiculous 1,780 yards per minute as a, as a late hatch with missing flights and going through a malt, which she, she probably shouldn't even have been in the race. But, I, you know, I didn't have a lot of birds. So she got the call up and did phenomenally. So I got her, him with her he is uh as soon as i took the staff and read out he started chasing her around he's the guy who got beat up by the muleman hen but uh this hen is younger and seems to actually like him because they essentially paired up on their own i locked them in that box for one night and then started letting them out and they went back to the box together so i guess it's a little easier when you only have one hen and one cock that's that's not paired up in a loft they eventually will find each other uh, down here is, this is my Hardy Kruger, uh, 1420. Um, she's paired up with my Vanden Bulk Cock, 5067. Uh, they had, uh, the first round of eggs was not fertilized. So we took them away and she is on round, uh, well, this is, would be part of the first round, but a second set of eggs for her and they're fertilized. They should be hatching, um, I think this week, midweek, midweek towards the end of the week. I have to, I have to check my calendar, but it's this, it's definitely this week. So down here is my, uh, Kittle and Black Widow cock with my Golden Matins hen, who is, she is feisty and they have, uh, their two ba black babies. They're going to be siblings to Rocky. Uh, one of them has got a little white on its rump and, uh, and a white flight which is gonna be really pretty. They're really pretty birds. Let me see if I can move her and spin them. So they're gonna be gonna be really pretty, just like Rocky. I really like the black ones. So it looks like I'm gonna have three of them. And uh, if she goes down on round two, which should be soon, I, I caught her sitting in the other nest bowl. Um, should be uh, five or six uh, black babies this year, which is, I think they're awesome looking. So I'm really excited about that. Um, let's go right there. You'll get a glimpse. So this, are, this is my Joe Alaka pair. This is Splash. He's paired up with Hannah. And 
and their first set of eggs was not good either, but uh, they went right back down on set two. And as you can see, they hatched. Um, I just banded the babies today, um, which I might be a day early. I have a feeling these bands are gonna come off and I'm gonna be doing it again tomorrow, but that's okay. And they're doing, uh, they're doing really well. The parents are, you know, doing a really good job taking care of them. And here they are eating. I think one of them might be a splash like him. I'm hoping so anyway, because he's, uh, he's really pretty. I hope one of them looks like that. Not that color matters. Uh, but in this top box over here, these are my, um, Ludo Clizon and Mussolini birds. Um, Blue bars, typical smoky blue bars. The hen's a blue bar. The cock's a smoky blue bar, just like all the other Mussolini's. And that's what we got up here. But they're looking really good too. And they're starting to feather out underneath. So a couple more days. And um, I think uh, maybe by midweek, they'll be ready to be weaned. And we'll skip down here is... So these are JT from Little Loft on the Hill. He is, he's right there black big boy looks just like rocky and he's paired up with this grizzle muleman hen who's 90 percent white as you can see and these are the babies they threw so it looks like you just mixed the paint together we got a nice nice grizzle over here gray and white grizzle and then watch out watch out mama get off your brother or sister get out of the way and then we got this color here which is very unusual it has barring but i don't know what color you would call that um if anybody knows let me know because i have no idea but it is like a dark slate gray with dark barring so if anybody has an answer for that let me know but these are going to be a couple of really pretty birds oh you're hungry you guys are always hungry well mom and dad are over there looking like they want to start around too so why don't you give them some peace for a little bit and they'll come back and feed you. That, that came right off. Okay. All right, so now let's move here. So up here is a pair that I'm really excited about is my inbred Wolverine and Mona Lisa cock right there. Uh, blue bar, white flights. And he is with the Hardy Kruger, the inbred daughter of Black Champ. Um, they are, they threw, it looks like a really dark check, like the mother. And then the second baby is a, uh, like a, like a, just a regular blue check, but it might be a dark check. Uh, we'll see when it feathers out a little bit more, but, um, those babies are looking really good. And these guys are getting ready for round two also. I had my put in the second nest bowl. Hopefully we get that soon. Uh, down here, here's the, the iron freak. Um, he's, he is a, he's mean. Uh, when he's on his babies, but he's got two babies there. They hatched um, maybe three days ago, so I'm going to ban them in a couple of days. Uh, he's paired up with my red check ironclad, and they're doing really good. Uh, down here are is uh, Kevin Birdsall's babies, um, ironclad, uh, son of ironclad, and a granddaughter of ironclad, and again, his and her birds. Uh, one blue bar like the father, and a chocolate uh, bar like the mother, like a you know, blue bar with the, the brown bars. So his and her birds again, but they're looking really good. And they're uh, they're getting ready for round two also. So down here is uh, my Dykstra Mussolini pair. Uh, she is on the bowl. She should be laying round two uh, today, possibly tomorrow, but she's, she's really getting ready. And then the babies are back here. Uh, typical red check and a dark check. And again, these birds will be ready to be weaned in a couple of days as well probably midweek. Um, I had straw in here. There was a lot of straw. They kicked it all out and then they started piling it up over here. So they thought, you know what, doesn't matter at this point because they're, they're big enough to the, the point now where they're, they're kind of walking around the box. They're not really spending a whole lot of time in the bowl other than sleeping at night. But uh, yeah, so that's all the babies I got going on right now. And hopefully in the next video, I got a bunch of birds on round two. All right, everybody, take it easy.